Meanwhile, old business mixed with a little new caught the attention of community leaders and members today. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nicholson has more on that story. The Greater Jackson Chamber annual breakfast took place earlier today at the Carl Grant Event Center at Union University. Madison County Mayor A.J. Massey, who has been in office 519 days as of today, stated that we are going to have a round bottom bucket mentality in Madison County. I have plenty of issues that arrive on my desk that I have zero ability to fix. We're going to pass that bucket. And we're going to pass that bucket until the fire is put out. Massey began to speak of the positive changes in Madison County. Our fiscal year ended in June 30th, and I'm proud to say that uh, we came about $3 million under budget. Uh, there was actually $2.969 million under budget, and that's uh, what that is, is our county departments effectively managing the money that was budgeted to them. Massey stated that the county debt is also moving in the right direction. Our annual debt service payment above and beyond um, is $13 million, so we're, we're knocking our, our county debt down by $13 million a year. So we're moving the right direction there. Massey stated the changes that were made at schools were to ensure the safety of the children. So we were able to fund 32 school resource officers. We should have two at each high school. Majority of, of junior highs or junior, uh, middle schools should have two and then uh, at least one at every elementary school with a few floaters to fill in in the back. Jackson State Community College's campus was also discussed for having the approval this year of a $37 million workforce development center. It's been in the works for several years and finally got that allocation this year. So Jackson State will have a uh, opportunity for local industry to put equipment on site at Jackson State where individuals, adults, and young learners can come in and work on equipment get certifications and be able to walk into the workforce. Massey also spoke on Pope Elementary School located on Ashport Road. I'm standing here at the location of the new Pope School, which is expected to open in the year 2025. This school is expected to house 1,250 students. This is a $48 million project, but Massey stated that that's not all the school will entail. It also included a $4.2 million county safe room. So now if you live in the north part of the county, you're not going to have to make it out to the airport or another safe room in the community. You'll have a, a large enough safe room to, to go there if you don't have one at your own house. In North Jackson, Caitlin Nicholson, WBBJ, 7 Eyewitness News. Also, Middle Fork Bottoms Park was mentioned as a state park that Governor Lee allocated to Madison County last year.